Hey, what's up guys? So this is just gonna be a quick video on how I failed hard on this board design. A lot of you already know that uh, I've been working on a, an IOT project called the Pusher Board and uh, I'm on the second revision of this board V2 now. And uh, I was just testing out the new Pusher Board. I was working through the circuit and of course I was having a lot of problems. So I worked through the circuit and uh, over here in the schematic kind of went through it a little bit and I narrowed down the problem to Q4 here in the schematic, which is a, uh, a P-channel MOSFET. And uh, we don't really need to get into the specifics there, um, but when I checked the layout, because I was hooking up a scope probe to Q4 here, I noticed that the uh, gate there had no connection to it at all. So that's kind of weird especially when you go over to Q4 in the schematic and you see a wire connected to the gate and there's no problem there. Um, so that's not good. And also the, uh, the source was floating as well. So um, again, or I'm sorry, the drain SGD was also floating. So yeah, very interesting there. Um, my first thought was maybe I copied and pasted this section of the circuit in. And sometimes when you paste components in in uh, Eagle, uh, they don't always paste in. And sometimes it doesn't make the connection. So sometimes I just drag them to make sure that they're all connected properly. And it seems fine. So I'm like, well, what is going on here? Um, but notice that when I grab other components... You see where they drag at? You see the, the junction there? You see how that's kind of where the it's bending at when I drag it around? Up here, that's not the case. So when I zoomed in a little bit here, uh-oh, I noticed that I actually have an open there. So this is a, a very, very bad fail. And uh, I can't even believe I, I didn't catch this when I was designing the board. Because right away I would have noticed like, oh, okay, that transistor doesn't have anything connected to the gate and drain. So, hmm, I should have caught that. But even worse, I should have caught it in the ERC had I ran that. Um, yeah, look at that. Close, but unconnected. Is that what that says? Probably... Yeah, unconnected wires. So I easily could have caught that. And there's other things too on here I should have uh, caught as well. Let's see if I can get to that. Yeah, no junction there. So anyway, you know, sometimes when I'm designing these boards, um, I forget to do things and I forgot to run an ERC check. I always run a DRC on the uh, layout always no matter what because it's so easy to run traces on top of each other or get things too close but on the schematic yeah the ERC it's always a good thing to run but um, obviously this was a lesson learned hard and I think what happened here is maybe I was using the keyboard shortcuts and meant to do a select but instead, I, I actually somehow triggered the slice. So when you slice, it does exactly that. So I'm gonna, just going to show you. See that? Or maybe not. I don't know, because I probably would have noticed that. I'm not sure. That just, that's just weird, though. Uh, I don't know how that happened. So Anyway, just a, a quick lesson there on always run your ERC check, even if the schematic looks totally good like it does here. Um, yeah, that could have saved me. So now I have these pretty little reworks on the board. Not that big of a deal, but, you know, darn it. Could have been easily avoided. So that's just a quick one. Hopefully somebody else learns from my mistakes. Thanks for watching.